mwa fe ye bazwe kitafu mlungi ye bazwe mbala musa kumenye mpa mwa fe ye bazwe ye bazwe mbala musa kumenye mpa mwa fe yesu kasobe muri balamu mu moyo no mubiri nange ndi mulamu mu moyo no mubiri kitibwa netendo bidira mu kama amanyi amanya de bose mutume amos mu kama ye bazwe tatere cyo me cyo kubiri turabenga tutera burungi amanya ne de bose mutume amos ndanse zide musanzo of sunday to nasuno okubako ekigambo kyenga bana nawe atorvanyuma tuyengire mu kusaba mu kama mulonje haleluya yes ah uh, nkwagala nyo mwenye maze nkwagala nyo brother we bale kubanga werekereza byonna no salawo olindire sawe no tsobolo kusaba fena mu kama yebazwe haleluya mu kama akompera mu kisa mu kama akuvireyo mu kama akulagesa nyo yes katia kibafiteredde Amen. Yes, amanya ne bebozi na gambye ndimutume amos era nkwagala nyo. Byo mukubaweleza basanzu busanda era afunya mukisa nzagenda kuba kutwala mukisa bokwa lero. Amen. Yes, nzikiriza nkuitire mu programu za finga we zitambula. Buli saba mukago gwekiro. Obudde bwa South Africa, musanfu bwa Uganda 12 nga bucha China. Ah uh, tubira no kusaba okwo kuyingira mu nako olupya kwe kuri bo sawa zino Then buli Monday to Friday bal Monday to Friday tubira ne lunch hour special sawa mukaga ogwe misana Buli lwa kubi sawa 12 kitundu tubira ne raising a child to adore God okuzo mwana ngali mu mbala ya katonda Buli lwa kuna tubira na ask your pastor buzo musumba wo sawa 12 kitundu Ulom paga ne sande tuya ne program e ya saving the word of god obokulambule chigambo cha katonda mubimpimpi oiza kita bible study mukama yebazwe ebyo byali programs za fe nga tugenda no kufuna yendala mukama mulungi banange ne musanyu funyo okubanga nze atudde wano okuweleza okubanga nze atudde wano okubanga njogera mu nawe haleluya haleluya tugenda kusoma ya wandiki bwa ebigenda to kulembera okusaba lero ekigambo kya fera kigamba i am a winner in christ jesus nayenga tugenda sabire gwanga lya fe uganda nalyo li wangule nalyo lifu lifu ne dembe nalyo ekiwa musai kivemu muri nya mukama wa fe yesu haleluya omukulembeze yo najja kana gwa watu wadeleka yajje nayenga abantu te bafudde abantu te basidwa abantu te basidwa bobi ne bintu byabwe te byo no ne mukama yebazwe haleluya yes tugenda kuyimba yolo yimba lumu deno lvanyuma tuyingire ekigambo kya fe ekijja kutwala mu kusaba then ya tusabe mukama mulungi Mwuki senge cha waguru Jeva kunga niranga Moyo mutu kufu yaka Yaka we ya suiza Mukama tuwe omoyo Mukama tuwe lero Mukama tuwe omoyo Wafegwe wa suweza Bajajafe vachiwe Hallelujah. 
Greetings from Cape Town. God bless you. God bless you. May God bless you. Yes. Uh, this prayer is called reveal hallelujah uh is a prayer that unveils a new day since we are going in a new day and we have ever been in that day so we have to call the holy spirit to guide us in a day since the holy spirit has ever been in that day but for us we are created uh after they had created all the days so we we are all visitors in that day if we move along we can stumble we can get problems we can get stuck but if we are we are led by the holy spirit everything will be fine brother paul from cape town god bless you god bless you indeed yes i'm apostle amos from sons of sander international i'm here with a word that will lead us into prayer today we are going to pray for our countries and basically our point of contact will be uganda because we have seen that many people are suffering that side because of politics so we request god to choose a leader that will lead his country uh, nevertheless for us what we want is pe the, the country to be at peace no shedding of blood no arresting people no destroying of their properties no restricting their businesses we request god to come to those countries not only uganda but all countries that are passing through hard that are passing through tough roads Praise be the Lord Jesus. So may the good God bless you as you're going to read some of the verses that will lead us into this prayer. Remember, the prayer is a prayer that unveils a new day. And our theme is, we are winners in Christ Jesus. When we pray, because we are winners in the very beginning, when he created us in Genesis chapter 1, 26, when he created us in his thoughts, he said, we create a man that will have the menu and everything so we've got our power and authority meaning we are already winners but some of us have failed to step in our progress to step in our victory to step in our destination because of fear because of destruction because of the earthly offers because of um, the group of people that we keep with that are too intimidating that are too uh, scaring that, like you can't make it but for me what I know if we pray a prayer will change everything and everyone will be at peace praise be the Lord Jesus we are going to start with the the the, the, the verse that is in Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 we will read uh, Proverbs chapter 20 uh, 29 verse 18 without revelation people run wild but the one who listens to instruction will be happy. As the Bible says, a country with no vision, its people will perish. But those who hear the instruction, they will always find happiness. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Yes, if you check everything, if you, 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 you go in the deep of, of this country, you will find that some of the things now are being done mechanically mechanically they are being done forcefully they are not putting god before they are not using god to take control they have not thought of the holy spirit praise be the lord jesus so they end up using guns using tear gas using a lot of force and another thing there is this other group that is coming out to do whatever riot so that the devil can take chance and misuse our resources misuse what we have and end up uh, discrediting the, the, the name of the country hence people 
been killed because some innocent people have died. Why? Because of the lack of vision. The country is losing its vision. It's only not it's not only Uganda, but there are some countries also that are passing through tough. But we are using Uganda now as a point of contact to ensure that God can intervene himself. Because if the vision is not brought back, meaning things won't be good. Remember, a leader, or, or these leaders are chosen by God. They are there to rule on his behalf. But whenever they run amok, like how Saul ran amok, and he started doing things bazak to the to the extent of going and to 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 seek or to ask the medians to ask the magicians to start consulting the ghosts that was very tough that was very tough he forgot his god praise be the lord jesus he forgot his god remember god is god instead of seeking prophet Somewhere, instead of, 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 of seeking other prophets around, he rem remember it's somebody that used to prophesy, used to guide. But now, check Saul forgot everything, lost his vision, lost his mission, lost his goal, lost as to why he was made a king to the extent that God regretted and said, I regret as to why I made so a king. Before God regrets, before God starts asking, why did they make this country Uganda? Why did they make this country X? Why did they make this country Y? We have to go back to our knees and request God to forgive us and call up, gain the Holy Spirit to be with us and call God to intervene so that he can change all the dilemmas that are there, all the chaoses, all the things that have gone bazak, things that have run away from his, his path other passes praise be the lord jesus hallelujah yes here the, the the verse is saying without revelation who are those that are supposed to carry uh, our vision who are those that are supposed to carry our mission first of all the men and the women of god now the country because it's giving as other countries that uh, bring so it's giving its offers our prophets, our prophetess, pastors, pastors, apostles, our teachers, evangelists, name them. They have now turned to the material gains, forgetting the duty and the role that they were assigned to. Remember, God created them with a mission to, to work for, on his behalf. They are his spokesmen and women. But now, because of the money, because of other things that the world is, is, is providing for them. They, it has closed their eyes, it has erased their minds, they no longer now see what is happening, so long as they have what to eat on the plate, so long as they have what to, to save in their in the account, so long as they are driving good cares, so long as they have been promised heaven and earth, so for them they have failed to go back to their, to their knees and ask God to again rectify, to again cleanse, to again make sure that the vision is still moving as supposed to move. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Our country has lost because of lack of knowledge. That's Joshua. Uh, Hosea. Hosea is saying, my people are being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. They, they refused, they rejected knowledge. I will also reject them to be my high priests. They forgot my laws. I will also forget their children. Check. Youths are dying in Uganda. The gun is like now a stick. Someone opens a safe and trigger and shoots someone direct as if he's shooting a wild animal. Why? Because there is no any reason someone cannot see that I'm shooting a human being. Someone cannot see that I'm shooting someone's child. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, I want to challenge you. It's not the gun that will bring, uh, will make ceasefire. It's not the gun that will now bring peace in the country. It's the, the men and the women of God that must come back to their original state in serving God, to cry to God so that God can hearken in the heaven and heal our country. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my face, pray, and live their evil ways. 
So meaning, if we don't live our evil ways, if we don't seek his face, if we don't humble ourselves, if we don't pray, God will still be far away from our call of help. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Where has the vision gone? What happened to what was there? What went wrong? Those are the questions we have to ask ourselves. Prophets are no longer doing their work. To the extent now, which doctors have come out as pruning. They are like now mess rooms. They are everywhere. They have been given letters, certificate to operate. So people are sacrificing human beings. They are cutting off the necks of their children. Of the children. Each and every time when you watch on the TV, you will see that someone has been cut. Uh, private parts have, have been taken. Some other parts are missing. It's because the country has lost its vision. And once it loses its vision, its people will perish. But happy is that man who listens to instruction. How are we going to tell our dear leaders to listen or to hearken to the, uh, uh, to the instructions? Now they are already wild. Now they no longer understand anything. Now their brains are, have been emptied. The only thing is to call the Holy Spirit himself to intervene. Praise be the Lord Jesus. I want to tell you one thing. One day I was driving a car. I was testing. They had changed my gear, gearbox. I was having a four-speed car, but I wanted to be fast. So I changed the four-speed car uh, gear to five-speed gear. Have, uh, praise be the Lord Jesus. Then it happened when an engineer finished to fix it. He told me to make a trial. When I made a trial, it wanted to adjust a little bit. He opened the bonnet. He adjusted. He told me to make another trial. I, told, I asked him, have you closed the, the bonnet? Have you closed everything? He told me yes. But we had forgotten to close the bonnet. Praise be the Lord Jesus. I never checked it for myself, but I wanted to drive at terrific speed. Praise be the Lord Jesus. I entered the car. I started the car. I remember it was limited. Corona limited, something like that. I started the car at terrific speed. I was hitting it 150. Then all of the sudden, the bonnet rose up and covered the windscreen. So I couldn't see anything. It was by God's grace that I, never, I wasn't involved in an accident. It was by God's grace that I stopped the car. It wasn't my own knowledge because it moved like almost a distance of a half of a, a, a soccer ground without seeing anything. But by God's grace, I, I controlled the car and I stopped it. That's lack of vision. If I had checked the bonnet before entering the car, if I have checked thoroughly well, I wouldn't have uh, got that problem. And the windscreen was must beyond the condition that I had to put another one. Praise be the Lord Jesus. From worst to worst. Hallelujah. When we don't get a vision, everyone will speak and everyone will call himself a boss and no one will listen to another one. So everyone will, will be wanting to be heard. Praise be the Lord Jesus. But I want to tell you, once we understand our goal, and once we understand our levels, and if we don't in, disturb, distract each and everyone in his office, we must uh, uh, respect the office, being low or upper, so that everyone can, ex can he exercise his or her ability and her powers in effective way. Praise be the Lord Jesus. But now, a president, when the president is talking, another one is talking here. When this one is talking, another one is subtaging. When this one is subtaging, another one is contradicting. So the country is full of all leaders. The country is full of all I know fighting. The country is full of they don't care. And that's a very bad weapon that the devil uses. I don't care. If they suit me, I will die. I don't care. If they win me, I don't care. That I don't care uh, attitude. Is, is, isn't good. I'm repeating the verse. It's saying, without revelation, people run wild. But the one who listens to instruction will be happy. Let us listen to what God is telling us. Let us listen to what really that we are, we are supposed to do. It may be a punishment from God because we have lost his first love, his first faith. Everyone is doing at his... I want to tell you, that witchcraft is in Uganda like I don't know. It, is, it wasn't like that. So people have advanced from going to God 
to, to going to syringes, to going to witch doctors, to consult the dead people. You find every person in his house that is most rain. Or if he doesn't have, in the family they have. If in the, in the family, two houses, neighbors, they have. So at, they are going to church, they are going to also to the witch doctors. They are not stable. The country is losing the meaning. But I want to tell you, if we pray, God will touch each and every person. Every person will understand his powers. Every person will, will understand his authority. Everyone will understand his level. And everyone will move according to his calling. Then you will find that the country is sober and standard. Praise be to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What's that that is eating us? One, heart's desires. Earthly desires. The country, the, the world is telling you, do like this, you will get much money. Contradict what they are saying, you will get much money. Uh, disturb, make a roadblock. The, 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 the devil is telling you many things in the line of heart's desire. Distractions. A lot of things are happening to the extent we no longer focus to God, we focus to other things. Our eyes are not stable. But the Bible says in, in the Proverbs chapter 4 that our eyes should be fixed to God. Our feet shouldn't go on the left or on the right. They should keep moving and straight. But now many people are doing different stuff. Are, are not reading the Bible. They don't know nothing, but yet they claim to be children of God. That's where the Bible comes in and say, as Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people, you claim to be God's people, yes, he's also accepting, but he's giving this condition. If you are true his people, then humble yourselves. Dear Uganda, or dear Ugandans, we request that you should humble yourselves. You, we, we request that it, you, do, you, you must come down to your level. You are not your own maker. There is a maker who is our God, Christ. Praise be the Lord Jesus. I want to encourage you, as I, I'm challenging you, that it seems to be the end, but it's a new beginning. If we call upon the Lord, He's good, He will listen. And when He listens, He acts. And whatever He does, the fruit is sweet. Praise be the Lord Jesus. My sister and my brother out there, we are going to read in uh, Psalm 74, verse, verse 9. Psalm 74, verse 9. Let me first write the uh, Proverbs. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Let me write Proverbs. Hallelujah. As we go to uh, Psalms 74, verse 9. The Bible tells us, praise be the Lord Jesus, that there, there are no signs for us to see. There is no longer a prophet. And none of us knows how long this will happen. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. That now the Bible is telling us that no prophet is there to let people understand what they are supposed to understand. Praise be the Lord Jesus. No prophet is there to help people. Every prophet is just is looking for how to achieve money. How to achieve. So, there is no... Here they are saying... There is no any sign. There is no any sign of peace. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Everyone is talking anything. They no longer mind about what is going to happen tomorrow. What they mind is to cause chaos. Uh, praise be the Lord. So that the country can be unstable. And remember once the country is not, as, uh, is not stable. Meaning many things will be stuck. Praise be the Lord Jesus. A lot of things will get stuck because the people are not there to yield. The people are not submit are not there to submit at their work or at their place of work so that they can earn what to use. They, you end up like losing the companies. You end up like losing the investors. Why? Because we are not having any profit in the country. We are not having any praise be the Lord Jesus sign to, to show us how to move. We don't know even how long this problem will last but me i want to tell you the solution to our problem is the distance between the knee and the ground if we kneel down and pray to our god our god is merciful enough he takes time to to get annoyed and is is it forgive and we don't do those ones that he will forgive us no it's a mistake we have made it but now we are coming to say sorry lord we want our country to have 
its peace again. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are going to Exodus. As I wind up, we will be going to Exodus 32. Hallelujah. Exodus 32. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Uh, 25. Exodus 34, 25. Uh, it's, uh, as, I, as I write it, uh, God bless you. God bless you. As I write, as I write, Exodus 32, 25. God bless you. Uh, it says, Moses saw that the people were out of control, for Aaron had let them get out of control, resulting weakness before their enemies. When, Mo when Moses went to Canaan, went to Mount Sinai, I mean, went to Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments, he left, the, the, he left powers and authority in his brother's hand under his brother's authority that's what that was Aaron but when Aaron was left there alone he was diverted that's losing his vision he was diverted that is losing his his target he was diverted that hearing the slander those who bring tricking words that can make you get damaged or be injured or get problems so they confused him they enticed him they touted him until he made a calf out of their golden silver and name them praise be the lord jesus by the time moses came back he found that people had run amok and they were out of control and aaron had deliberately made them to lose their faith because aaron had the power to stop these people or at least he would have called moses to come and take control but he, he never did that he, he he just sat down and made them what they wanted hallelujah which type of a person are you? Are you those ones that will persuade Aaron to make a mistake? Or you are those ones that will climb with Moses at the mountain night like how Joshua did? Praise be the Lord Jesus, my brother, my sister. I want to tell you, whenever we get a challenge from someone, there must be a person in Uganda caused by one person, by two people, or you can learn a group but it's not as big as the, it cannot... Uh, like number it cannot man the group of people it might be only one person who is hearing all this so that a saga can be in the country problems can be in the country for other people to benefit praise be the lord jesus hallelujah 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 i want to encourage you as we are going to pray pray so that our vision can keep can keep vibrating can keep moving can keep having life Pray that our goals cannot be diluted or diverted. Pray that God himself can come and take control because now it's beyond uh, human understanding. It needs the hand of God. But who are those that are going to call the hand of God? It's me and you. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. A country without vision perishes. I don't want my country Uganda to perish. Neither do I want South Africa to perish. All other countries, I don't want them to perish. What I want, I only want God. I pray, my heart's desire and my prayer to God is for these countries to regain their peace again, to regain their happiness again, to come back to the throne of God so that everything can be fine. In the mighty name of Jesus. My last, my last scripture or my last uh, verse is coming from Amos. From Amos, praise be the Lord Jesus. Is coming from Amos 8 11 to 12 and remember I'm Amos so I thank God uh, is coming from Amos uh, Amos uh, 8 11 to 12 God bless you yes Amos 8 11 to 12 it reads here this the days are coming this is the declaration of the Lord God when I will send a famine throughout the land, not a famine for bread or thirst for water, but to hear, but of hearing the word of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and roam, roam from north to east, seek the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Praise be the Lord Jesus. The time is coming and now it is when people will lose, will not get a word of God they will be thirsty they will be hungry for the word of god they will move east to west south to north they will go forth forth and back but 
they won't find the word of God. Why? Because its time will have elapsed, will have ended. Before that one happens, you have to seek God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit. So that at that time of trouble, you never know. Maybe he may hide you in his sacred place where he promised to hide his people. Praise be the Lord Jesus. What is that that is eating you? What is that that is challenging you? Let us pray for our mother countries. Let us pray for our mother countries. Pray for yourself that you don't lose the word of God. So that even if you don't have Bible, you can still recite some of the of the scriptures that will help you. I want to tell you that it's our wickedness, it's our not being upright that is causing Uganda and other countries to be like that. Because we have lost the vision. Now it's like a ship or it's like a boat that is being uh, waved by uh, or swift or uh, blown by the tough wind uh, or tough storm and now the, the the pilot or the one who was controlling it he has lost that thing that they used to control so the, the ship is just going by itself or the boat just going according to the wind no one is still now in control that's what happens if we don't have God everything will go berserk and everything will go its way and no one will be able to stop them why because we have deliberately uh, lost our power to them but I want to tell you, our God is great. We can still reorganize and rescue our country, rescue our people in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. I request you pray in your language that you'll be fluent and you'll be confident with so that everything can be fine in the mighty name of Jesus. Nkwewa za katonda, nkwewa za msumbo mulunji. Uruwe mirunji vyo kola elio bula mwa fe. Okutuwe leze chigambe chirunji vwe chiti. Okujo matuga fe mkama yetiki ulira. O ine nsonga lwa chochi lese. Ila manye nsonga genda tegelekeka. Obawa la labagi tege deko damu. Linyari ya mkama wa fe yesu. Tato wekse chinji. Jangu. Orokole guangali Uganda. Jangu osumule guangali Uganda. Stere komu kulembeze gula banti agenda sumba abantu. Agenda kwe kulembele abantu. Obu kulembeze vajoli bwe tusoma mukama yeba zibwe marumi kumina satu. Tusaba tere komu kulembeze uyu anate gira okurumwa kwa abantu. Anate gira okunyuro kwa abantu. Anaini ya narakole levi runji mwenye ya mukama wafe yesu. Tusaba ila Uganda na ama wanga malaga itamu kizibu ngecho. Oku, oku, moyo wabu kakamu kubeira u. Moya igirizo kubeira u. Moya sumulo kubeira Mwalinja mwalinja ya mkamu wafi yesu tato msumbo mulu nji sonyuwa butali butu kilivu baba nansi sonyuwa butali butu kilivu baba frenazi sonyuwa butali butu kilivu weyo chona ekirete de mkama wakubanga tufiru wa ibiya fi mwalinja ya mkamu wafi yesu ekizi uwa msai kilinge ki uwa msai leka abantu wa fune mire mbe mkama leka abantu wa fune kusumuru wa mkama leka abantu wa zibwe buja mwalinja ya mkamu wafi yesu nsabira brother nsabira sister nsabira omu ami riku utaya baka ikinaka iri mkushe leka mkama usumuru lo mtu oyo leka Leka mukamu mluani rentale zomu yenu mbili. Leka mukamu muhimu se mbasa vila tata. E guango kutere ira. Na hama wanga guango kutere ira. Waleme kubawe achita bantu. Waleme kubawe kiyu wa masai. Waleme kubawe entale zenganda. Mulinyali ya mukamu wafe yesu. Leka tulabe kisacho mukama. Leka tulabo mukono guo mukama. Sumuru la bulichinomo mukama. Awentu kilo kusabila hama wanga guo na. Agaita mutafrodi nga Uganda. Leka mukamu uga vile yo. Leka mukamu uga luani le. Leka mukamu uga sumuru le, mulinyali ya mkama wafe yesu, teka yo mruanyo wa maanyi, atema ateme wali lionevi ote wakula, okuleme seye karu yo mkama, leka tuleki sacho mulinyali ya mkama wafe yesu, leka tulabu mkono gwe tato mrunji wa msumbo wekisa, tusaba mkama wanga abantu kusumurua, tusaba abantu mkama wakuunye zewa, tusaba abantu wakuimo sewa, mulinyali ya mkama wafe yesu, leka katunda kule mwomulimo, leka katunda kule mwomulimo, akolo mwomulimo mwuganda ya fe, akolo mwomulimo mwuganda ya fe, mulinyali ya mkama wafe yesu, Yesu, tu saba tato mulunji, tu saba musumbo mulunji, tu tu leke ila mukama, tu tu jako mukono guo Yesu, tu tu jako kisacho aitata, tu kwa uole linyari yo mukama, tu kwa uole chigamo cho mukama, tu kwa uola amanyi guo mukama, wakujo kusumurula, wakujo kuhimusa, wakujo kulokola, mulinyari ya mukama wafe Yesu, lokola wazade wa fabali mi Uganda, lokola waganda wa fene banyina fabali mi Uganda, lokola wana wa fabali mi Uganda, teme kubo yetali mukama so loko sumurula, wakusumurula 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 Mule Gwanga Uganda, jamwe ki uwa msai, jamwe ekireto wa wanto kutate lila. Leka mukama wabeleo peaceful talk, leka wabeleo peaceful elections, leka wabeleo mukama 
wa mukono gu fetu jia kwa hivyo zoyenda gu nobolese ila tuja kusubmitting under him as the ministers and also minister nga kusenzila wano tuwele za mukama nasabi ya vitu nebingi vili joli nga njimu sevi guanga Uganda leke evintu evintu vemu evi evi vile teleze ntaro leka wagendewo a reconciliation and forgiveness avantu wa subulu kuwenye zebwa mwalinya ya mukama wafle yesu mbwa saba wakili za abrahamu na asaba ya saba kizebwewe teyafuna kizebwe na haba wala wala la wabili nange chemanyi wali uwo oh you go sumuru de wali uwo you go wado mkisa wali uwo you go luani lide leke kisa kia katunda chikubeleko leko mkono kwa katunda kubeleko mwalinya ya mukama wafle yesu yimbo saba antuba mukama bateleze kufaku njegelezo mwabistani batege basumuru liba luani liba yimbo seba kole mwomu li mwomu lunji ekitibu wa nete ndo vidila guwe mwalinya ya mukama wafle yesu amen Eksa, eksa tia mkamu wafi yesu Nuhu kwa gala kwa ikatone Nuhu kusechi mwoku 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 Bebele nga na fefenda Neri ya venga nga za fe Emele mwe kitabu wawo Amina Mkama abampe lo mkisa